hey y'all so this is a very impromptu video here but here it goes so i'm sitting in bed you know i'm kind of reading through this book that i've already read through but i felt led to you know reread it again for obvious reasons i guess and so it's td jake's book when women pray i know it's backwards sorry but basically if you're not familiar with this book is about basically pastor td jakes he took 10 women in the bible and each chapter is you know the breakdown of what they went through and how we as modern women can learn from their trials and tribulations and you know how we can learn from their lessons and make them our own basically so the first chapter or the first story is hannah's story and a little background hannah you know she was married okay her husband loved her she loved him everything was great but she was not able to have children she was barren and also you know he was married to this other chick all right and she kept rubbing it in hannah's face oh i have children and you don't okay provoking her right every chance she got it was getting real bitter baby mama drama in my opinion and so <clears throat> Hannah was going around feeling as if her desires her prayers were not going answered and feeling as if God kind of forgotten about her and as much as we may not want to admit it I'm sure a lot of us who are on our own walks with God have felt that way too we've been praying for something for so long and you know we're like God like when is it going to happen for us and things like that and we can sometimes maybe feel like God's forgotten us he's not listening but that's not true so Pastor T.D. Jakes wrote something in this chapter that just had me shook for a second. So I'm going to quickly read through this real quick. So he said, do you realize that God often intentionally brings rivals into your life to provoke you? Not to provoke you to anger or jealousy, but to provoke you toward greatness, to poke you and prod you toward the potential he sees in you. When you encounter those who look better, do better, have better, love better, wear better, drive better, whatever the better is, you need to understand there's a real possibility God is using that provocation to point you toward himself so that he can bless you in the same way. So basically, you know, for us, the modern day version of what Hannah was going through, you know, you're seeing people on social media getting that certain job or moving to this place, getting married, doing this and that and the third. God does that on purpose, okay, because he knows what we're praying for. And he's showing us those people receiving those things, not for us to feel jealous and feeling like it won't happen for us, but for the complete opposite, for us to feel that, you know, genuine joy for those people and realizing wow he was able to do it for them so he's gonna do it for me when he sees fit so don't get mad don't get upset don't feel like it's happening for everyone else but you you just have to trust the process trust his timing and use that as motivation to keep going okay